It's a new name because we're kind of done with power and because we want Mac in the name of our products. So MacBook Pro. And this is the new MacBook Pro. <laughs> is it you again? Happy Christmas. I feel like I'm in a game of fucking werewolf or mafia where I'm like, I'm not the werewolf. I promise you I am not the werewolf. And everyone's like, you're the werewolf. You're the fucking werewolf. Look at him. He's like, he's doing the for, like, Okay, so for the record, my friend, on a stack of whatever you have there, you are not, as of this taping, in or have any knowledge of being in the next Spider-Man movie. I feel like, like, I feel, I feel like I- you again? Did you guys watch Spider-Man No Way Home? It was freaking awesome. Anyway, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about, uh, but first, consider hitting the subscribe button. My channel has been getting traction and I want to thank you guys for that. It's still in an infancy. Editing videos has been a bitch, but it's fun and I'm still improving on it. I've been busy for the past two months with many projects thrown at me. Recovering from COVID, that was a bitch, but it was nothing absurd. Explains why the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas gameplay I uploaded on this channel because I was on quarantine. So, with that being said, let's get it on. This time, I got my favorite MacBook Pro 17 inch 2008 running Monterey and Windows 11 because why not? And please check out my previous video featuring this model running three operating systems Big Sur, Windows 10, and Android. I would also like to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed and share my channels to your friends. I'm going to be leaving all the timestamps in the description down below so you can find the parts that are useful and helpful to you. Well, I'm not here to explain history of this model so in this video, one of the first of many videos that I will be uploading on my channel, I'm sharing how well Monterey and Windows 11 runs on the MacBook Pro 17 inch 2008. If you own this model, make sure you have the GPU chip repaired and if you own the revised model, this MacBook is worth the keep. Similar to Big Sur, Monterey runs almost perfectly fine, running on open-core legacy patcher. If you have high expectations, please avoid using this model. I will still keep using this MacBook for the next 5-10 years, hopefully. I purchased a lot of replacement parts on eBay and AliExpress. Is it worth using it in 2022? Yes and no. Yes for users who appreciate vintage MacBooks and those who mainly do light stuff. No for those who do content creation or heavy video editing and those who don't like bulky heavy MacBooks. Yes, the 17 inch is fucking heavy but I have been traveling with it since then. This is just a few examples. I've already gone through most of this in my previous video. So they did it again. Hello, is it you again? Please check the previous video on my channel. I will see you guys back here soon in another video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Um, and and Microsoft's just you know it's McDonald's. So um, that's what saddens me. So they did it again. <laughs> My Lord, is it you again?
Someday did it again. <laughs> My lord, is it you again? My lord, is it you again? Territory. I'll find Uncle Ben's killer if I have to go through every one of the skulls to do it. They are very pedestrian. So and it again. the sad part is, is that most customers <laughs> don't, you again? don't have a lot of that spirit either. But, it, but the way that we're going to ratchet up our species is to take the best and to spread it around to everybody so that everybody grows up with better things and un starts to understand the subtlety of these better things.